WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of red out here. You've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Each of the sectors with inside the S&P 500 are also trading to the downside. you got the Dow off 481 points, one and a quarter percent. Same percentage for the S&P or 61 points. Same percentage for the Nasdaq, one or 217. Three percent for the Russell. That's a 63-point move to the downside. Semis are off one and a half percent, 66 points there, two and seven tenths for the trannies that's a 443 point move gold is down 28 bucks that's one and four tenths percent silver's off three percent or 70 cents lights we crude up 65 pennies natural gas back nine cents Third year treasury printed out at 118 11 that's off one point and 16 ticks let's take a look at what all that means by looking at that nine panel Market update chart. We begin the upper left-hand side to get the ES mini. What do we have? We've got a new profile that is formed out here, or I should say is attempting to form. The top of that profile, 50.52, that's your resistance level, support being 49.39. The low for the day has been 49.77. Price also running into trend line, potential trend line support. Now, that trend line support is likely to fail if the spot volatility continues to remain above its 50-day exponential moving average, which it's doing right now. The 50 days at 13.59, the VIX at 14.86. The NASDAQ also forming a new profile or attempting as we're using Stevie's advanced Doppler tool. We will not get confirmation until this evening. But right now, we know that the bulls are sitting at the 17,531 level, the low of the day, 17,586. Resistance is the top of its profile, 17,924. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's been on a roll, it's been on a rally, and it's trying to get back inside its weekly profile. That is resistance, by the way, because price has been down it for several weeks. That's up at the 104.66 level. Now, it doesn't matter really where it closes today it does matter where it closes on friday but right now we can say that the u.s dollar index has hit resistance the question is can it take it out i don't know the answer to that question if we take a look at gold gold sitting at a very important level of support it's a prior swing point low that's at 2760 we're at 2005 and change a close below 2760 is going to generate an a to b equal cd to the downside pattern in the case of silver it's trading below its bullish structured profile support. It's trading below its rising trend line. A close below that level. Well, there's already an A to B equals CD to the downside. I don't have it printed in here. I won't do that right now, but we can most certainly do that later. If we take a look at Lights Read Crude, it's about to run into resistance, both the descending trend line and its TD9 count top at the 7826 level. Natural gas got a small A to B equals CD to the downside, buck sixty-two is that price target. And that 30-year Treasury. Right now, taking out its prior swing low, that would suggest a close below 119. We'd see even lower prices. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Everything is